With due account. respect, I think it is shameful that I, as a competitor to President Trump in this race, have to ask questions that the media isn't asking. The job of the political media, if it has one job, is to hold the U.S. government accountable. Yes, we know that. And instead, we're doing the bidding. You're seeing the media doing the bidding of the U.S. government. No. Ask the question. Get to the bottom of what Biden told Garland and what Garland told Jack Smith. If the same shoe fit the other foot, you would not take their word at face value. Do not take their word now. Get to the bottom of it. Let's actually restore journalism in this country. That's what's actually missing is Thank getting you. to the truth. OK, Thank you for that. We are absolutely asking these questions. Good. You suck at doing your job, Dana Batch. What's up, guys? This is Matt from American Patriot News. And today I got another clip as well when it comes to uh, Vivek Ramaswamy going out there and educating CNN, and especially Dana Bash, because she is left-wing as hell and she don't care about the truth. She puts out stuff that helps the Democrats, and that's it. But this next clip, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And in the clip... Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy is talking about the indictment of Donald Trump and also talks about the Presidential Records Act and how it was never referenced at all in this indictment. So let's go ahead and watch that. There are a few things that are just different about the presidency, and we have to accept that we have this as law in this country, Dana. And if you don't like the law, we should change the law. But the law says there's a Presidential Records Act that specifically gives U.S. presidents jurisdiction and authority over deciding what is and isn't a presidential record. And executive orders bind the rest of the country. That's the classification scheme. They don't bind the U.S. president. Again, these are questions for the courts. So I'm not substituting my opinion for the judgment of the court. Right. But I'm saying the fact that those distinctions did not even appear in this indictment, to me, reek of politicization, which is why I am deeply skeptical of the face value claim okay. that the White House wasn't involved. That's what I want to get to the bottom of. That's what I love about Vivek Ramaswamy. He goes out there and just says the things he has on his mind out loud. So most of us will keep it to ourselves, but he just says it. He's a lot like Donald Trump in that way. And the thing is, the question he's asking about how much is Biden involved in this in the Biden administration? That's the question that needs to be asked by the media. They don't need to be trusting these people. They need to ask those questions. But the fact is, they won't because they've already uh, been captured by the Democrat Party. That's why they do the bidding of the Democrat Party, as well as the deep state. Now, the other thing I found interesting about this video, if you look online, look at every other presidential candidate, most of them aren't defending Donald Trump. Very few are. But one that is, definitely, is Vivek Ramaswamy. And you know why that is? Because he has integrity. That's why he's doing it. He knows what's right and wrong, and he is following his gut and doing the right thing in his opinion. Not only that, he's friends with Donald Trump. Yeah, he's running against him, but he's still friends with Donald Trump, and he thinks the world of him. And that's why he's going out there and defending him. And we really appreciate you guys watching American Patriot News. Peace.